Well, hi everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm bringing you an old recipe. I started looking at a lot of my old, old recipe books and stuff like that, and I'm trying to make them, and I'm not going to make this really new because it really isn't new, but it's new to me because I did spam with potatoes. But this has macaroni. This is the macaroni already done, and I'm going to put cheese in it. How's everybody doing? I am doing great. So I'm going to put the cheese in it now because it's still warm. Get all the cheese out. cold outside. I went out earlier to get my granddaughter daughters from school or from the bus which is right down the street. But that was mozzarella. This is four cheese Mexican. Okay. And this is I'm gonna move this over here for a minute. And this is I'm gonna use a couple of the sticks of um I bought all these sticks up. These three sticks of the Sargento pepper jack. I bought some some cheese sticks because my granddaughter likes cheese sticks. I gotta go shopping tomorrow. So I'm gonna cut these cheese sticks up and put them in. It's not going to melt them all the way down because it's just warm, but it will. So I'll put those in. And this is the pepper jack cheese, and it's hot. Now, the recipe, the original recipe calls for Velveeta cheese. Um, and I use that for macaroni and cheese, usually for Thanksgiving only, but... Okay, here's another one. put other things in it. And this is Sargento again. This is the pepper jack cheese. But it's just in the sticks because like I said my grandchildren love cheese sticks and actually so do I. Okay, so I'm going to mix this, the cheese in it. I'm going to push this, pull this down so you can see me mixing it. I'm going to break it up. Just kind of mix it in very slowly. Now this doesn't call for an egg. I don't ever remember my mother putting an egg in anything. Any of her casseroles. Casseroles are coming back again, believe it or not. Okay, so it's pretty much fixed in. Now, Piesto resistance is 
the spin. You can actually use ham in this too. My husband actually likes spam. And believe it or not, I didn't think I would like it. But then I remembered when I was a little, when I was younger, when I was home. The only thing is, I don't know how to release this. I had, My mother had this recipe, and I looked, and I actually found it. And one of the, oh, here it comes. One of the old cookbooks. But I lost about six old, old cookbooks when I moved here. I think I've told you that story before. I don't know whether they took them off the, when they moved here, I don't know whether they took them off or what, but anyway. So we're going to cut this in. I know I'm not actually cutting properly, but this is easier for me to cut. I know how to cut, but sometimes... Okay, so that's there. And then you're going to cut them. And then you're going to cut them again. So take a few of them and gather them together and then cut them in little squares. Like, can you see that? Well, I'll, I'll pick one up when I finish cutting. So there are little squares like this. And you're going to drop them in there. I was falling out laughing the other day because I watched Chopped, Chopped and Chop, and um, they gave them um, some um, um, of those Vienna sausages to cook with, and I fell out because that's I don't really like them, but um, but one of them actually made it a really nice dinner out of it. I'm like, wow. Because Vienna sausages to me in a can. But sometimes, you know what I mean? I don't feel like going out to the freezer. We have stuff in here, but. <coughs> I didn't feel like going through the freezer. I just said I'm going to go ahead and make this. Besides which, okay. I mean, I'm bringing back old recipes. And I'm doing these. And, you know, sometimes, you know, when. It's cold and it's, you know, you don't want to go shopping. And, and for me, I mean, you know, it doesn't snow down here like when I lived in New England. But it does snow. So I have to think about what I want to do and what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do and when I'm going to go. And I don't drive much, you know, anymore. Unless I have to, like, i got to go to the dentist tomorrow, so I'll drive. So we got some more of these. And I'm cutting them in sections. Let's see if I can cut them in twos. So I'm going to push some of these back, cut a few of them together. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Seriously? I cut them in twos now. And um, it's going to be a lot putting them in. Mm -hmm. And I'm on a cutting board, so. So you can see it. I'm actually going to be doing a cookbook for Kindle. And um, I'll probably release it before Easter. I might do one. I think um, it's easier for the Kindle book. I'll decide whether I'm going to make it into a paperback as well. But I just need to be cut down just a little bit more. There you go. So my knife skills, okay, are are actually not that bad, but there were some days when I just can't. I'm lucky to be even. I'm lucky to be even here, but I'm thankful all the time. All the time. So, what I'm going to say to you is that um, if you um, want me to make something and you've read about it and it's old or something like that, put it in the description box and I'll try to see if I can make it. Okay. So I'm almost done. I'm liking that. Quite a lot of... I gotta really read that. I forgot. I threw it away, I think. No, I didn't. I think I put it in the recycle. So this last one, at least the last two, So this is March, and this is my birthday month, by the way. And let me tell you what I want for my birthday, just in case anybody wants to send me anything. I will take a card. I will take a happy birthday. I will take a gift card from either Michael's or um, Joanne Fabric um, or um, Starbucks. 
That's what I like. I will take happy mail. With anything you want to send me that I could do with art or, you know, whatever. I'm not fussy. But I meant to tell you because my granddaughter and I decided this because her birthday and my birthday, as you well, may have you, a lot of you who have been with me for a while know that her birthday and my birthday are the same month. And um, she's the one that has all the allergies. So I was saying to her, I said, let's make the whole thing a festive month for us and let's do some things and let's go some places and let's see some things. Because she can't, like I can take my other grandchildren to a restaurant or whatever. She's also going to be 13, so Toy Story is out. So I'm all finished with this. Got it all cut up and everything like that. You know they have bacon flavored now too, right? They probably have other flavors too. I just haven't noticed it. Because I just, like I said, let me taste a piece of this. Okay, tastes good. Terminal. Now, here's the trick. They usually ask for Campbell's soup years ago. But what I did was I decided that I would use something else. And this is the turkey gravy. Um, okay, the Campbell's soup has the mushrooms and all that in it. But I decided to use something else. And it's thick. And this also takes away from the egg. And this has no MSG in it. It's McCormick's um, turkey baby. Okay, so let's see. You can use it in stovetop gravy. It's all McCormick spices. So that's that. Let's stir this in along with the rest of the cheese and everything and very slowly I'm doing that meat to go down and be in it. I think I might, well, I'll just surprise you. I won't tell you. Okay. Now the spices. Got this garlic powder from the dollar store. I get my, my spices wherever. Spices are spices to me. That's about a table, table not quite a tablespoon. A little bit of seasoning salt. And we're going to mix that in real good. Let's mix that in and then we'll put the salt and pepper in. I didn't put the red pepper flakes in because this already had the pepper jack cheese in it, so I didn't have to. Then I'm going to put some salt in. So that's that. Now, I'm going to mix this all in. All the seasoning in. You can smell the pepper. That's, pepper to me smells good. And then, I'm going to bring the casserole dish over. I think this was my mother's. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure whether I, I know the big one wasn't, but this was my mother's.
Yep, this was my mother's. And, um, let's put this in. I'll put this in right so that I won't drop it. My pan is already greased. That's that. Put this bowl over here. Now I'm going to take pictures of it and then you'll see it on the Instagram. And I'll probably have a couple of pictures of it. No. Now, is a just a little bit of butter. Yep, some butter. This is going in the in the oven. I was going to say this is going in the envelope. This is going in the oven at 350. So, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. We'll put the pictures on Instagram. And probably, I'll talk about it. So, just a little bit of butter. It's in there. Alright. I love you. I'm going to go put it in the oven. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>